In today's video, we are going to explore a free software toolkit that comes with every Seagate external hard drive and provides simple to use tools for managing security, backup, restoring files with a predefined schedule and even mirror means continuous sync of data between computer and external drive and much more to help us to get the most out of our storage solution. So let's crack the windows. So here is the toolkit software that came with the 5TB external hard drive that I had purchased recently. In my previous video, I had done unboxing and review of that drive along with the correct installation process of this toolkit software. If you haven't seen that video yet, please watch it once as it will make this video very easy to understand. Link is in the i button and description below. So at the top of this tool, there is a question mark for the online help of this software. While clicking on this three dot, there is an option to minimize online help settings and quit. Under settings, we can set if toolkit needs to start automatically during the windows startup that is by default on and second one is to enable detail lock to help troubleshoot issues. Rest is general user manual and online support if you want to connect to Seagate support staff and can see current software version in about section. Now let's check out what's in one touch with password option. Here, it's showing the logical drive letter along with the usable space and file system. I had formatted this in NTFS file system. NTFS file system is always recommended as we can do the logical partitioning of external drive in NTFS. In my next video, we'll explore the easiest way to partition external drive. So, if you have not subscribed my channel yet, please hit the subscribe button to get the latest updates and resolve your query in Windows platform. Here we can secure our drive with OneTouch password. Before going into it, here is the option to safely eject external drive. Let's check it. So it's highly recommended to safeguard the data in drive. This option has ejects the drive. Now we can remove it from our machine. Let's connect it again. When we choose the safely remove option, the operating system is effectively told to wait until all processes using this drive have finished before dismounting the file system, which stops any further read and write activities for the external drive. So it's highly recommended to use this option before unplugging the drive. Now let's set a password to lock and unlock this drive to avoid unauthorized access. Now I have to enter 8 digit secure code that came along with this drive. I had already shown all the papers and free subscriptions that came along with this drive in my last unboxing and review video. Just check that out. Now I'll create a password to unlock this drive on any computer. Put a password hint here. And next. Now it's asking to create a password reset key. In case we forget our password, we can reset it. We must have a free Seagate account to create a reset key. If you don't have, you can set an account from here. Internet connection is required to set up a Seagate account. Here is the Seagate account creation portal. Just fill up some basic details and your account will be created. I already have an account, so I'll skip this portion. It's highly recommended to create a Seagate ID as if you don't have this, it's hard to recover your unlock password. In case you forget it, same warning is shown here. Let's check this and next. It's applying the password and here it's done. Now we can lock this drive from here. Let's eject this drive and reconnect it to check. 
Here you can see secure drive lock. We can unlock it from here. Let's put the password. And it's unlocked now and ready to use. Here we have some more options like change password, reset it, manage multi-user, format it and some more. If we assign any computer as trusted one, we don't need to give password every time. Nice feature. Let's give the password and it's done. Here we have a multi-user option. From here we can add another admin user to this drive. Here's the factory reset. Always take the backup of all important data before doing factory reset. Here it's asking for 32 digit PSID that we have received along with this drive. Just make sure to click a picture of this paper and save it to a secure place to use it in future as it's very difficult to store this paper for a long time. Now here is the most important feature of this drive. We can schedule backup of our machine as per our choice. The backup option is applicable for Windows users only as it will not work on Mac OS. We may choose backup now to automatically create a backup plan and quickly backup all our personal files or click custom to choose the content and schedule of backup. Let's choose backup now. It has started backup of all files in our external drive. Let's check out the location. Here it is. We can pause it from here. And also edit or customize what to backup. The files that is not required to backup, just uncheck that. Now we can schedule how often we need this backup to run automatically. Either it's continuous, hourly, daily, weekly, monthly or snapshot means just once. Let's choose weekly. Now we can define the day of the week and time to start the backup process every week. Obviously drive must be connected to machine at that time. Now here is the restore facility. We can recover lost or damaged files from here using the backup we had already taken on this drive. As we had not taken backup yet, it's showing no backup found. Now here is mirror option that creates a new folder on our computer and external drive that are mirrors of one another. Mirror is a two-way sync meaning if data is added, deleted or edited in either mirror folder, the same will be applied to the other mirror folder. Here new mirrored folders created and PC and drive locations shortcut is given. Let's check it. On computer, here's the path of mirror folder. Let's create a folder named test. And here we can see same folder mirrored in the drive also. If we can create a word file in computer, it also mirrored in drive in less than 5 seconds. Quite nice feature. Just keep the important files in the computer's mirror folder and toolkit will continually scan for changes and update the external drive's mirror folder accordingly. That's all for today's video. If you are a Windows user, don't forget to subscribe the channel for latest updates, tips and tricks. Goodbye.